Hello, miserable minions. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I want to talk to you about clownfish. Uh, I think it's pronounced Clarky Crown Crownfish. Clarky Clownfish. <laughs> I can never get through a video, can I? Okay, so this is a beautiful clownfish, and let's just get right into the care and some footage. So when you're at your local fish store and you see this beautiful Clarky Clownfish, what you're going to see is... What in the world did you just knock down? So when you're at your local fish store looking around for some beautiful fish, you will see the Clarky Clownfish. Now this isn't the regular orange clownfish that you usually see, but it's more of a darker yellow. Now as Juveniles, they are more yellow than they are darker. Uh, as adults, they get more darker, as you'll see, which mine is. <laughs> Alright, so let's get straight into the care. So the care for this type of fish is extremely easy. Uh, any beginner, I recommend this fish. Not only are they beautiful, but they are very easy. Super hardy. Probably one of the most hardiest clownfish you will come across. You don't even need a big tank. Uh, 30 gallons uh, minimum. Again, if you could do bigger, bigger is always better, but the minimum is 30 gallons. So if you're looking for a beautiful fish that you can have in your reef tank, this is the fish you will might want to consider because they are very reef safe. Um, they get 5.5 inches, so you know not too big, not too puny, just right. And when it comes to diet, you want to feed them meaty foods and plant-based foods as they are omnivore. Uh, you know, anything from seaweed, scallop, shrimp, that kind of stuff, they will eat. <laughs> and when it comes to feeding it, your fish, they are a bit of an aggressive eater. Um, mine, not so aggressive when it comes to eating, but there are some that are very enthusiastic <laughs> when it comes to eating. It's like me and cheesecake. Don't mess with my cheesecake. So this fish is semi-aggressive, so you want to house it with more uh, semi-aggressive fish. Now, buying this fish, they do live up to 14 years in captivity. So that's something to look out for. If you don't want a fish that's long-term, this isn't the fish for you. If you love your fish and it's long-term, this is the fish for you. Now this fish likes to swim about, I'm going to say medium level in the tank. They are strong, active swimmers. Extremely hard to get a picture of this fish. You'll see them darting back and forth, uh, not because they're bored, but because they're extremely strong, fast swimmers and very active. They're not a fish to hide in the live rock, so you're going to see them darting back and forth because they just love to swim. <laughs> so I want to talk to you about an, an interesting fact when it comes to this Clarky Clownfish. I bet you didn't know. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. I'm here to teach you. They actually sing. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm not lying. They call it singing. Okay, it's not really like vocally singing because, you know, fish don't have vocals. Or do they? <laughs> uh, what you're going to hear, which you can hear, um, if you're standing outside of your tank, you can hear it. I have not been fortunate to hear my fish sing yet. Let me if I get more. Hee hee hee. I want more fish. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, it's basically a clicking noise. Uh, I'll insert some footage right here so you can hear it. So they do about three clicks per second, uh, up to five. And they do this when they're bickering amongst each other, as many people do. Fish do it too. So they do it when they're bickering, uh, when they don't want to share their meal. <laughs> and, uh, to say, this is, hey, this is my territory. I don't want you in it. So those are some of the reasons why you may hear your fish click. And also, they do this by snapping their jaw, which I will insert uh, this video clip right here. Pretty cool, huh? So I think I pretty much covered everything about this clownfish. I don't think I left anything out that I can think of at the moment. <laughs> Uh, but I always leave something out and then remember when I'm editing. <laughs> Alright, so that about sums up this video. I hope you enjoyed um, the little 
fact about their little singing abilities. And if you're looking for a beautiful clownfish, this is one to definitely add to your collection. Alright, I will see you in the next video. And remember that fish are amazing. They're not boring, they're amazing. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.